has got to do with the badge now someone has every reason to be thankful today yep. the coco master himself the badge, the badge yeah. has welcomed a son with his wife wow leonor dd kilgrow in the united states of america barely a month after revealing that he is expecting a child uh -huh. according wow. to reports by metro news ng the badge, who was born as Oladapo, Daniel Oyebanjo, Oye welcomed his son on Thursday, which was yesterday, September the 19th, 2019. Well, that rhymes. Mm -hmm. September the 19th, 2019. Hey. That feels like a rhyme. Let's do it again. September the 19th, 2019. Okay. Are we supposed to be happy now? I'm Now, the hospital or states where Leonor Didi Kilgrow delivered the couple's son was not disclosed, but mother and child were said to be in good state. The bands welcomed his son a day after the legendary singer to Baba celebrated his 44th birthday. Wow. Yep. Two, that was two that was older than Bobby with just four, four years. years. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's it. <laughs> four years just. It's not just the yeah. fire, it's not just, 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 just fire. Yeah. Can you buy it? Can you buy it? Can you buy it? Can you No. It's just like, I remember, senior, I remember senior, back in senior, the day. Senior, senior, senior. I remember one hour. back in the day, a friend of mine told, uh, was arguing with his sister, and he's older than her with just one year. Mm -hmm. And what came out of his mouth baffled me. I can't forget it till today. Say, I chopped one Christmas before you. Uh, <laughs> now, this is. <laughs> <laughs> now this is super great news after this now this is super great news now mm -hmm. if you all know there was uh the band lost his son sometime yeah. last year and also the band has admitted that he once went for therapy and had to stop because it was bringing out some of so many many things and like he he bring out. you know you know therapy the thing with therapy is you get so emotional you get mm -hmm. so into it mm -hmm. that you get to disclose a whole lot that and, you, and, rather just you know bury. bury down inside because mm -hmm. me if i go for therapy i know i'm gonna i'm actually so happy things. i'm actually happy at this news like God is like yeah, it's like it's, it, it a consolation. Yeah, yes, it's, it's not really. You know, he lost a son and he's got, got another son. son. That's so great. this time, I'm sure anything water and that we move it away, away from. There, the really there is water that we fill it. Like we fill it. Up. Remove exactly. all the water. Pour, pour uh, level the ground. Okay. Uh, I'm I happy. think this is the message to parents too. Put did your, you guys see a video that popped up? Put your eyes on your children. Did you guys like, see a video that popped up on social media of a young kid who was wearing, you know that, um, you know when you swim, this, this, what they call it again, the floater. Okay, yeah, the floater. Now, he yeah. wore it on his waist and he was trying to move from one end of the pool. Let's say he was moving from this end of the pool mm -hmm. to this end. And, you know, they strap it. It's like the one you sit mm -hmm. in. Yes. So the kid just turned upside down. Whoa. So he couldn't turn back. Oh so God. he was struggling to come out. was struggling to come out. He couldn't. He tried from one end to the other end, but there was nothing for him to reach. So the, the video did not show if the kid actually survived, um, right, survived yeah. or not, but it was terrible. Oh, oh my God. Parents should like, parents should actually put their eyes where their kids are. Mm -hmm. as, no, where, especially when you, when you know you're living, especially in a hazardous environment, where there's, you, it's prone, some accidents are prone. Yeah, children yeah. don't really, they know, no, they, they so, just see things as they I see I feel them. like it's not even best to let your child go and walk on their own, like when they're not up to a certain age, when they're not up no, to seven. No, but sometimes, you can't help it. Especially when they're parents, you know, let them play, but then you have to still put your eyes on them. No, but congrats Congratulations to Dibanj and, uh, and his wife. You know, yeah, big, big up to you guys. You. So you guys should born another one Must so that we can come on. Hey. You know. Like is the father. I did. father. I did. You know the open daycare for him. <laughs>